<clears throat> when you start to realize Jesus is your example, you have his spirit. Now, years ago, okay, I'll give you a, a story real quick. Years ago, I was in, uh, where were we? Dallas, Georgia. We had moved there and started a little church there. And I had just come in off the road. I was tired. I wanted to sit down. I wanted to read. I wanted to relax. And so I sat down. I was working on my laptop. I had it there. And I had this little television to show you how long ago. It was a television that had a VHS thing that you could put the VHS. If you don't know what VHS is, look it up. Anyway, but I had that TV there with this VHS thing. And someone, when I got back, had a bunch of mail. Somebody had sent me a VHS of a healing service from South Africa. And so I got it, and I put it in, and I'm letting it play. And it's, you know, pretty, pretty, some pretty amazing stuff going on. And so I'm watching a little bit, but I'm also working. And as I'm sitting there working, it's funny because I'm playing it, but I'm not watching it. And right then, about the size of both my hands right here, I felt something go toward it. And so I feel this. It felt like someone had opened a fire hydrant and like water was just rushing up toward that television. So I stop and I look at it and I'm like, well, that's weird because I'm not given to a lot of feelings, all right? I don't, you know, sense this, feel, I mean, this, sometimes yes, but I don't go by that anyway. Because you can't know God by, by feelings or impressions. You know him by his word. <clears throat> now, I'm sitting there, so I look up. Right when I look up, it just happened to be exactly at the moment where it showed this little boy, a little bitty boy, had this huge cancerous tumor right on his back. It was horrible. And right when I looked up, this thing just exploded. I mean, literally, I mean, it was gross. I mean, tell me, I, let me tell you, I have seen gross. I know gross, okay? This was gross. And all of this stuff, oozed out and, it, and, and then they took a towel and wiped him down and there was perfect skin. Wow. I mean, it was just the most amazing thing, one of the most amazing things that, I, that I'd seen up to that point. And so I'm looking at that and I'm like, huh. And then I'm like, wait, what, what was that? Because this healing service was over a year old. Right. It had happened a year ago. So Obviously, my faith no, it had nothing to do with that. And I thought, but what was that? Why was this? And so then I asked, so I'll stop. And I just stop and ask God, what, what is that? What's going on? And God answered with scripture. And he said, if that same spirit, if that same spirit, and he started quoting like on a, on a, on a loop, if that same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwell in you, if that same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead dwell in you, and just kept saying it over and over. And it took a while. And finally, I'm like, oh, I got it. The spirit in me is the same spirit that healed that boy a year before. And I asked him, I said, what, what, I asked God, what's going on? He said, the Holy Spirit is remembering when he healed that boy. And you're feeling what he felt whenever that boy got healed. Now, again, please understand, I had nothing to do. I didn't pray, had nothing. It was just him. He was remembering that. And that's whenever it hit me. That what I did, what, when I go and I, and I if, if you, maybe you've been in this place too, but you're thinking, God, I'm not ready for that. I'm not, I'm not ready for that. That's, no, that's next level. I'm not there. I'd love to be there, but I'm not there. I'm not ready. Well, let me give you a hint. You will never be ready. Okay? Why? Because every situation is different. Everything's there. But here's the thing. You say, God, I've never been in this situation before. You know what he'd say back? That's okay. I have. Amen. The spirit that dwells in you is the spirit that has raised every person from the dead that's ever been raised from the dead. That's the spirit in you. The spirit in you is well experienced. He knows exactly what to do in every situation. There has never been a healing. There has never been a dead raising. There's never been a situation, a miraculous situation that the spirit in you wasn't part of. So no matter how ill-prepared you may be, he's ready. All you have to do is trust him above what you can ask or think. And if you can get out of your own head and just trust what the word of God says and step out, 